Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego Marvel Super Hero Spider-Man Doc Ox Tentacle Trap. Set number 76059 comes with 446 pieces and a handful of minifigures, Doc Ock, Vulture, Captain Stacy, White Tiger, and of course Spider-Man. Oh, and uh, the boat does not float. Probably because there's a... Uh, holes on the bottom of it i don't know or maybe because the, the whole back end is open but they sure do like to show that it floats anyway let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> bust this open and check it out so we got our seal open move this camera down there we go all right so we got a pretty big sticker sheet right here we have the comic book that's been rolled over. We have a single instruction book. Should be pretty easy to go through. Kind of reverse roll it so it lays flat on the table. Okay, that looks good. And then we have numbered bags, bag three, here's bag two. And a big bag number one. Looks like there's quite a few parts in the first bag. We do have some small bags that are in that big bag. Ah, pieces are going everywhere. All right. So let's get the instructions open. Looks like we're gonna build some minifigures first. We have Captain Stacy. Go ahead and build him first. His black legs. The legs are non-decorated. It's just the torso. He does have a double printed face. You can see that's the happy face. And then we have a scared screaming face. Go ahead and put the happy face on. He's got some gray hair. So that's our first minifigure. <coughs> we have a skateboard. This gets our first couple stickers. It's a Spidey skateboard, so it's got some little web decorations on it. Or, not skateboard, surfboard. Surfboard. Spidey surfboard. Try to put these on as straight as possible. All right, so who goes on the surfboard? Spider-Man, of course. So there's Spider-Man. He does have his web that he's spinning. So it's a web shooting out. So we have this little bar piece that fits in his hand that has a stud on the end. And on that stud, you can uh, attach something with the stud. It also has a stud with a hole in it. So this particular piece has a bar that goes in that hole. So that's Spider-Man on his surfboard, spinning a web, all, all at the same time. Who said you can't do two things at once? Alright, so let's build our non-floating boat. Start with this plate, put a couple inverted slopes on there. Um, let's see, we got a bracket. And on the bracket, we're gonna decorate it. This is gonna be the little fake motor for the motorboat. Those little black studs represent the little propellers. Put this bow shape around it. All right, two more inverted slopes, and then this large boat hole piece. You can see that has holes in it. So that's another reason why it probably can't float. Okay, we have a couple bricks. These bricks are gonna be decorated with some stickers. Says police seven seven on it. One and number 
to. Very good. Next is some one by one tiles with clips on the top. Inverted curved slopes fit perfectly on this little boat hole piece. It's molded to fit on there just right. Now we have some jumper tiles and one by six plates. Here's our boat control panel on this double wide cheese slope. We'll put a couple of these studs that have the hole in the top. I think they're called Apollo studs. Steering wheel that covers up the control panel. So if you needed access to that panel, sorry. Steering wheel in the way of it now. Okay, we have some gray taps and some clear studs. Jumper tile and a bar. This bar's gonna go all the way across back here. Dish and a plate with a clip. And put the string that has bars molded every so often down the end. It's going to be the string that Spider Man is going to hold on to <clears throat> when he's uh, surfing. Surfing and spinning a web. Okay, we have a Stud launcher gun that goes right here on the front with a, just a red stud that goes in there. Okay, so we could put Captain Stacy in there. There we go. So that completes the boat. Let's see, we could put Spider Man's hand on there. So it's water skiing. And not floating, because remember that boat does not float. All right, so that's the uh, really the one accessory piece for this set. Next is the um, tentacle trap. It's the big kind of a exosuit mech type walking device that Doc Ock is controlling. And the superheroes are trying to take him down. A little mixel joint piece. This little pink brick is probably going to get covered up. We won't see it. So you can see we're going to put these half round. I mean a quarter round bricks. Around there. Now you can't see the, the pink anymore. Especially once we put this on top. So this little trailer tow ball type piece. Put tile on it. And we have another sticker. Sticker number 10. The numbers are for reference only. And this will go right there. So it's, it's just kind of, it's, it's this control panel. Just, and I know that because I'm looking at, I'm cheating. I'm looking at the picture on the box. All right, let's not play with it yet. Let's finish the build. 
before we start playing with it. All right, so we have these light bluish gray quarter round pieces. Those go there, turn it back around. We have uh, some white plates. Okay, so we have a little um, transmission box or a, a gear box. It's this little piece here. We'll start by turning it over, put a brick on. And then we have a couple Oops, a couple of cone bricks. These cones. It's kind of weird you put the stud that's on top of the cone in there and then put a stud on the bottom. This will attach there. So inside here is where you put some tan bevel gears. Put a couple Technic bricks right next to it. And we have two Technic gears. These attach there and there. plates and a couple of brackets. Okay, so here we're going to slide these bevel gears in there. See, they fit perfectly, almost like they were meant to go in there. The next thing is this yellow axle. We're going to put another bevel gear on it, but just kind of right on the bottom and slide it through this Technic plate. Push that on there. You can see those gears interlock now. Then the instructions show us to push this all the way in until it stops. So on the front here, we're going to put some of these little friends panels, and that's actually where you can stick some minifigure legs in, and they'll stay in place. Have some white one by one bricks. Alright, so we have this combo plate with a Technic brick molded on top of it. We'll put a friction pin in there. Four black studs on the top. Then we have this Technic piece it slides in there. This little thruster looking piece. piece. That slides over that axle. And I like the turn the axles to make sure that they still turn. Make sure nothing accidentally got put in there that binds it up. Okay, next we have four of these one by one Technic bricks. You can see they have the, the pinhole all the way through it. That's what makes it a Technic brick. Plate. Two of these Technic pieces. They slide through those pinholes and those one by one Technic bricks we just put together. That we have these long sweeping arched pieces.
goes there. All right, that completes bag one. So uh, let's go ahead and <clears throat> jump right into bag number two. Okay, we have everything dumped out for bag number two. Uh, we're gonna begin next couple of minifigures. First one is Vulture. Vulture is all green, has the huge pre-molded wing piece and the flesh colored headpiece. Single printed face because there's no mask or hair piece or anything that goes over it. So it'd look funny if there was a face behind it. So they just give you a single printed face. So that's Vulture. And the next figure is White Tiger. White Tiger is obviously white, has the tiger printing on the torso. Single printed head. We have the little headpiece that goes around top. And he's got the hair, ponytail type piece coming out the top. And he's got a little dish piece that he holds on to. Just like that. Okay, so that's our two minifigures for that bag. Bring back over our tentacle trap. So we're gonna continue building onto that. So we get a sticker on this. Round sticker, round tile. We know by now that these are tricky. And this will slide in and attach to that axle that's in there. So remember that axle is what controls those bevel gears in there. Okay. And they show us folding this up now. All right, next step. Clear studs on these clips. That's one clip. Here's the other clip. There, we have two more clips. One here. And okay, there's the other one hiding from me. It's where the hidden brick comes from. It's always that hiding brick. All right, next we have some Technic bits and pieces. And then these little click hinge snap bending piece, these two pieces right here. Okay, put a gear on it. We need to build another one. Basically have two of these that are exactly the same. There, there. So gear. So these slide through here. slide okay we have everything moved where it should be this I had in the middle it should have been right here and that makes sense because I was wondering what was going to connect to those uh, bevel gears in there and what it is it's these yellow axles so we slide those in there that's what connects to the bevel gears what I'm trying to do is line the pieces up. I guess that's about right. You see when I turn that piece, those pieces turn. Okay. That looks good to me. So, move that to the side. We have a little diagram that says 2x next to 
little module, so we're going to do two of these. These are the little rotor stud launcher pieces. Technic piece to it. Another one here. round four by four plate these half cylinders you basically put the half cylinders back to back that makes a complete cylinder and we'll put a chima yellow plate on top to bring our uh, this Slides all the way in there. Connect that there. Do our last one. That one goes there. Okay, so those kind of rotate on their own, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. Next, we have stickers. We have a sticker number one. to make sure you put it on one of the half cylinders and not overlapping both of the cylinders. So you can kind of rotate it to see the line there. That's where half of it is. And there's a little notch here that kind of shows the center point of that half cylinder. So I kind of line it up with the notch and then push them down. Looks like we've centered them just right. Okay, so that's our stickers for that piece. <clears throat> These little pieces represent some lights. Okay, we'll move that to the side. Next we have a little sub-assembly to make. Four of these same modules where it's a Technic brick with an axle hole. That's the yellow one. Put a axle in there and then this um, blue Technic brick with a pinhole it goes there. Now we're going to put these corner bricks inside corners. Another 6x6 six six round plate on top. Struggling here. What's going on? All right, let me find it. Okay, I found it. Slide it in there. Push that there. Make sure that turns. 
bring this over. This slides in here and attaches to the base. So that turns. Right next we have another little module that has a 4X next to it, which means we need to build four of the same piece. <clears throat> fourth one. Well, we're not done yet. I have to turn the page. Build a few more things on top of it. All right, so we have a Technic pin, toe ball piece, brick, and a tile. The tiles will get stickers. So I'll do that once I finish building the other three. Just go ahead and do them all at once. Okay, got two more. I kind of noticed that when I looked at this um, artwork on the box of this set, that there's going to be a lot of repetitiveness. So this doesn't really surprise me that we're doing. A lot of the same things over and over again. Okay, so let's get our stickers going. Put the last tile on there. And it's the sticker number two. It's the same sticker. They're all the same. Once again, round sticker, round tile. My trick is you kind of pull the sticker a little bit away from the edge. It actually doesn't go all the way to the edge. And kind of once you find that location just a little bit away from the edge, it actually centers on pretty easily. Okay, so that's all four of them. And these will way these will click on this piece here. So we're putting the little click hinge piece on there. And leaving that little axle pointing away. And then we have all of these um, studs that go inside these little rotary weapons. And be careful as you're loading it because if, if you actually rotate it, they will start to shoot out. So this one's a tricky one. It's not as, as sensitive as a spring-loaded flick fire missile. Those things if you just barely tap it in the wrong way, it'll shoot that thing out unexpectedly. All right, so that completes bag number two. So move some of these extra pieces out of the way. We're on to our third and final bag right now. Okay, we have all of our bag three parts dumped out and the next thing we're gonna work on is the last minifigure. It is Doc Ock. He has a neck bracket with a Technic pin on the back. He does have a double printed face. You can see he's got his angry face. And then he has a kind of an angry or evil laugh. Looks like he's doing there. We'll do the angry face and he has got his bowl cut, haircut. Move that guy to the side. We have some more repetitive build stuff to do. We're gonna build four more little modules. So we're gonna start like that. Put this 
this piece on and some dark green slopes. So that's the beginning of one. Almost dropped that. There's the beginnings of two. yet we still have a few more little pieces to attach to it so we have this inverted slope plate and we have two of these plates with the click hinge pieces That'll click there and we have that piece Still not completing all four of them. We still have more to do, but let me catch up with the other two. I mean, other three. last one of this page of instructions. Goes there. All right, now we have our last stickers. Basically each one of these is gonna get a sticker. For the same sticker. Just like we're building four of the same piece. There we go. That's the last sticker. Throw that off to the side. We're done with it. And I literally did throw it off to the side. I don't know where it landed. It's on the floor somewhere. All right. <clears throat> we have four more module pieces to build a lot of dark green and then you can see some regular green underside here trans fluorescent yellow that will attach right there and they show it bent like this all right, so let's build the other three. Finish this all off. I think once we have this, we just have some tentacles to build and we'll be done. Kind of comes together pretty quick. Once you get all these repetitive things done.
we're finally down to the last one. Right when I finally have got the step memorized, we're done with it. Single stud, transfluorescent yellows. So, how do these work? Looks like we're going to put inside this axle hole right there, each one of these axles. So that slides all the way in. It's kind of a weird proportioned little walker piece. Kind of how it goes, kind of like it's on its tippy toes, or oh, it's just it's kind of goofy visually. It's not my favorite looking set, but um, it's got some different techniques, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna build four more. pieces. That's basically what each one is supposed to look like. Competitiveness is kind of wearing off them, or the funness of it is kind of wearing off. It's getting kind of old at this point. Like, all right, I get it already. All right, last one. Okay, so putting this guy over again. Move this up a little bit so we can see what's going on. So each one of these arm pieces has that little Technic axle toe ball piece sticking out. So we're going to connect each one of these to them. Side. We have one more. I thought we were done with the repetitiveness stuff. Looks like we're not. So we have a cone on this axle with a hollow brick. It's gonna go like that. So we have four of these cone Apollo brick pieces. All right, so that completes it. So, you can see we can fold these guys up, and these, this thing is uh, not very, 
not very user friendly, it doesn't feel. Okay, that one. I have to fold these a little bit. Then you have the twisty thing at the top. Turn it, you can see the tentacles go crazy. Doc Ock stands here. Basically, that's his little device. <clears throat> so that last piece that we put on the back, we can uh, take it off. Not so easily, but it does come off, and then it goes on his back. And then what you can do is um, remove each one of these tentacle pieces, and it actually will go onto each one of those and you can make him the actual Doc Ock with all of his tentacles. We're not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put it back the way it is. It's really not very, it's not very play friendly. Very fragile. It, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the set, if you couldn't really tell from the tone of my voice. But that's it. It's built. We got that, we have Spider-Man and the little boat here that doesn't float. And then of course you have White Tiger and Vulture. Kind of move these guys around so you can see them all. Okay. There's so much about this that's fragile. I really would I wouldn't recommend this set for kids. Let's just put it that way. It's not that great of a set for playability. I mean, if you want the, the figs or something else about it, fine, you can have it, but um, I don't know, there's something about it that just doesn't seem right to me. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Don't take my word for it. You can uh, get it, build it, try it yourself. Um, let me know. Put a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. I have a bunch of... Um, superhero videos i'll put a link down below also to the superhero playlist so um if you want to binge watch all of them click on that link and you'll be able to check them all out so thanks again and we'll see you in the next one